Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. We have a lot of content for MSPs. Today's video is part of a little mini four-part series here I've created for Azure Information Protection for Microsoft 365. Azure Information Protection is the label taxonomy and protection service that's available standalone or with certain plans like Microsoft 365 Business Premium. If you haven't checked it out already, I did create a video that's doing a high level intro of the full service. And then these videos, I'm going to be diving deeper into these four sections here, starting with discover today and moving my way across into classify, protect and monitor, just because it is a more robust solution here. And there's a lot of things that you have to consider when rolling this out. And from an admin perspective, how you want to administer this across your customers. So with that, I just want to make it a little bit more digestible here. Again, today we're going to start with Discover. And this is basically discovering the sensitive information across your company so that you can begin to have a scope of what kind of taxonomy you want to apply in the organization. That's where we'll get into classification. So this is basically laying the groundwork for the rest of the videos that we're going to create here. But in any environment, we need to know what kinds of data types are in our environment for sensitive pieces of information so we understand the taxonomy we want to then go and create. So I've got a test tenant pulled up here just to show you guys. And I want to make this as black and white as possible. So there's really three different methods, in my opinion, of which you can gather this information and do this discovery that you'll see here. One of which you can do on-premise, and this is something where you can run a scanner service called AIP Scanner. And I had made a whole video on that, which I'll link below. But if you have any on-prem file shares or anything like that, you can run a scan on that entire repository to discover any type of information types within there. And that could include sensitive information like you're seeing here, credit card numbers, things like that. That may be part of that that you want to consider when you're thinking about your taxonomy. The other way of which you can start to discover data is with the AIP client. The AIP client is just something that you can download as an executable. And let me actually pull that over here. So this is something, again, this is a unified client that you can push out. This will then install on the entire Office suite. So if I show you from an end user perspective, Within their office suite, they'll have this bar across the top with your labels that you publish with a policy. And they can begin to classify documents based off of that. And also, additionally, they'll see this in their Outlook environment too when they go to create new, uh, new messages as well. And from here, this is where you can start to do some discovery as well too of the kinds of information within these different environments here. So that'll start to pick up information in SharePoint and OneDrive as well too. The last way of which uh, you can do this in the sense of collecting this information is with Windows Defender ATP installed as an endpoint protection on the service itself or on the endpoint itself. And that is something that I don't see widely adopted up to this point in time, so I'm not really going to go into that fully but it is another option for you to be able to discover this certain type of information. Now with these discover phases here, you do have the ability like I'm seeing here to connect log analytics so that you can start to report on this as well. So with that, um, you know, this is something where you can go into the configure analytics here and you can click create new workspace with this you'll have to have an active azure subscription for the pricing on this they do allow you to do five gigabytes of ingestion for free every month and then everything outside of that is two dollars 76 per gig so just know that before you go and set this up you just want to fully understand the pricing this is a one-time ingestion fee that will happen so let's say you have 100 gigs that you want to want to put in you'll not be charged for five gigs of those you'll be charged for 95 at this rate for the full ingestion and then you have 31 days of free data retention of everything that you put in there and then everything outside of that if you decide to retain it longer than 31 days have a custom retention policy will be 12 cents per gig so just understand the full cost before you start to uh, set this up fully within the account understand that 
completely before you move forward. So with this, you know, you'll assign a resource group here. You'll give it a name for the instance, and you may just want to say a AIP scanner. And from there, you know, you can make sure the name is valid. And available, which we didn't do there. Pricing tier, you can just do pay as you go per gig because there's nothing else at this time. And we can go all the way to review and create. And you can go ahead and create this. After you've created it here, you can go into any one of these tabs and it'll give you the opportunity to link that particular workspace here. And just note after you do that, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes before you'll start to see data. If there is already pre-made labels that you've already pushed out in the environment or if you've just run a scan in your file repository on-prem or something like that so you can do a complete discovery of all of the documents here the only thing i would mention is you know the obvious let's say you don't have anything pushed out yet in labels and you want to take this time to do a complete scoping of what's in the environment from a sensitive information standpoint if you don't have unified client put out pushed out with the label taxonomy how are you supposed to know what's in these people's SharePoint and OneDrive? So with that, you can go into the Compliance Admin Center here. And I got there again by going to the Admin Center and then clicking on Compliance here. When you're here, you can click on Data Classification. And what you'll see here is Sensitive Info Types. Before we click on this though, the big thing that you have to do is sign permissions to your users here. So there's a particular role you need to assign that's not assigned to anybody by default at this time to view this certain information across the environment. So you can click on permissions here and then you'll want to click on this to pull up the legacy portal with the permissions. What you want to look for here is the content explorer content viewer role. By default, nobody will be assigned, but you can go ahead and add any certain members here. Usually it's you as a global administrator that can come in and view this content. After you've done that, you can go back into the Compliance Center here, go back to Data Classification, and you'll click on View All Sensitive Info Types. And this is all very new, by the way, so just know that this might change if they decide to move the UI around or anything like that. But you do see here, it's doing this scan across the entire organization in Exchange SharePoint and OneDrive. And you can see the certain sensitive information types that it's detecting. I put in a lot of fake data in here just to give you guys a good demo, but you might not see you know much at all going on. Maybe some credit card numbers, maybe some US passport numbers, PII potentially but it's definitely not going to be like all these countries obviously that you see in one person SharePoint environment for most cases. So I can click into, you know, this path here and I can begin to go down this, you know, this trail of seeing what's all in SharePoint and I can see it's at it's my, my main site here. And then if I dive in here, it shows, oh, okay, this is the site that actually has all of that. It's not spread out across multiple sites. And then if I click into here, I can see all the exact documents that are part of this document library within SharePoint and the credit card information that it's detecting. And if you click on one of these to pull it up here, you can actually see a, a full preview of the document, which is really nice. So you don't have to keep on downloading a, a file completely. But then when you pull it up here on this side, you can see the confidence level and the number of counts it's had, like number of credit card numbers within this doc and the confidence level associated with that. So this is a good way to scan this as well too. Again, we don't have to primarily focus on just one, one piece. Obviously this is again, a lot of data that I have within this test tenant, just for purposes of, of sharing that with you. But then this, this is also for OneDrive. You can see the person's individual OneDrive. This is mine, where I contain the sensitive information that it's finding. And you can narrow down into that as well too to see if people are storing sensitive documents on their personal OneDrive as well. Those are the ones I feel like are the higher ticket items to then say, you know, this is the taxonomy we need to develop and move from there.
So there's obviously a, a lot going on in the discovery phases here, but after you've hooked this up, you can then begin to do this discovery of every type of sensitive information within your environment here in the cloud and also on-prem. So it's a very good solution just to even use as a prospecting tool. I mentioned this in a previous video, just when you onboard this, buy a license for $2 Azure Information Protection if you don't already have it, and use the IIP scanner service on the on-prem file repository to do that deep dive and to give them a report of the sensitive information types that they have within uh, that file repository. So you can begin to say either one, you know, we need to start applying these labels to these documents or two, if we're thinking about migrating, you know, this is where you have the most sensitive information today, which is very beneficial to the client, especially if they've been going a long time without really organizing that data. So that's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video for Discover. If you guys do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. In the next video, we'll be going over the classify section, looking at the taxonomy of all the labels that you want to set up for your customer. Please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Otherwise, thanks guys. Have a great day.